Hello everybody and welcome to uh, my newest let's play. It's replacing Ribbit King. And this will go alongside Hitman Blood Money when that starts coming out. Um, but yes, it is SimCity. Um, I was going to hold off on doing this one for a while uh, just to see if, thing if things would iron out a little bit. But uh, I've had a lot of fun with this game and I thought it's as good as time of any. As good as. It's a good time to do it, so I thought, why not? So, uh, yeah, I, I did start on a, one town and just kind of messing around and getting a feel for the game, but I am by no means an expert. I did play SimCity 4, and I, I really liked SimCity 4 a lot. Um, this one I'm actually enjoying quite a bit, uh, despite some of the issues, but I don't, I'm not really playing online, so I... A lot of the issues aren't really impacting me unless, you know, they start having server issues, which I'm not always online DRM, uh. But uh, anyway, I don't care, I'm just going to play. Uh, we're going to go to Discovery Delta, and the description is, Roll on down the lazy rye river as it flows through Discovery Delta. This expansive wetland region follows the course of river tributaries with creeks and ponds forming among city sites. Excuse me. Four groups of cities are situated to develop amazing cities in the Delta and complete great works. And I probably should not have drank that Dr. Pepper before I started playing because uh, I'm all like, ugh. I've got burps coming out like left and right here. So I apologize. We're going to make this a private region. We're going to play legit. Sandbox mode is fun, but I want to play legit. Because uh, it's definitely a lot better to do. What am I going to name the region? Jam Land. Yeah. I got nothing. Jam Land <laughs> sounds like a theme park. I, I should save that for if I ever do like a roller coaster tycoon or something. Definitely sounds more like amusement park dish. But, uh,. Now we can pick, and there's all kinds of locations we can choose our city uh, to be in. I want one that does have some water. We have one kind of on an island here, but this one has a little, like, oh, that's interesting. I don't know! Let's go here. Wash tub fields. Has no ore, but it's definitely got oil, lots of water, good wind. Not a lot of coal, but I'm going to claim Watchtub Fields, and that's that. Play! There we go, and we're getting underway finally. I'm excited. Hopefully, get, hopefully you guys are as well. We're going to reticulate some splines. Anybody who's played any kind of Sims game is familiar with that. Llamas and splines. And who doesn't love splines and llamas, really? If I had a llama, I'd name it Tina. So, uh... I've got this person whining at us because they want us to build roads and stuff. So, let's... Let's just get let's get started. I want to get going on this. We'll just build, like, a long road here. Well, not really long, but... Kind of. Always got to start it from the highway. So, uh, there you go. I don't know if I'll do more than one city in this region. Right now we'll just focus on this city and we'll we'll see where this series takes us. But uh, right now, just do one and see how big we can get this thing going. I want to get I want to get a big big gigantic thing, city of awesomeness. Of course, that's very difficult. I've always in SimCity 4, I always had a problem with getting a city past like. 10,000 people. I don't know. It was always difficult. But, uh, interesting thing is that zoning does not... Co it doesn't cost anything to zone. And I'm pretty sure in SimCity 4 it did. So right now I'm just going to create a bunch of residential areas right here. Right off the highway. <laughs> oh, me oh my. Okay. Well, let's... Get this. I mean... Eventually, we're, you know, I'd like to make the city kind of a little more dynamic and not just like a gigantic square, you know. 
because basically you can just do squares. And it makes the grid a lot easier, but... You know, it kind of gets old after a while when you just have a square after square after square. But I uh, will focus on that right now and... Let's see, we'll still have a good amount of residential demand, so... Actually, I want to see which way is the wind blowing. It's going that way. Okay, so we'll... What we'll probably do is have our... Industry on the outside... And to the right, so... So that way it blows all that stuff over there. But uh, right now we want to focus on this. Let's throw some commercial stuff down here. I know there's not really any demand for it right now, but... It's always good to, to be ahead of the game. And uh, let's, let's throw down a water tower. And I like how they use the phrase plop whenever you go to place something. So there. And maybe we could... I like this too. You can do like arced roads... So you can come... Whoa, whoa, well, that's kind of cool, actually. But I want to kind of do this. So we get a nice little... There we go. Look at that. I do like that. And then we can get a nice little residential area going over here. So these can all be houses. Bam. How do you like me now? Bounce, bounce, bounce. Then, I don't know, we could probably set up, like, well, that's going to interfere with those houses, so. Oh! <gasps> yeah, there we go. There we go. we we'll just stick that in there so we can allow for more, and people are crying about water, so. Could I stick that on? I can't do that. All right, well, I'll just, somebody's going to have to live right next to the water tower. <laughs> And people want power, and I like the wind plant over the coal. And uh, let's see, where's a good place to, well... I think we could just do this. And then we'll plop the, uh, we'll plop it right here. Bam! Alright, there we go. Then what I'll do, well I don't want to do that actually, but we'll... we'll extend this road here and stuff so things are looking nice here of course I had to unresidential zone that for the water tower that's probably not the best place for the water tower but who cares I don't let's uh let's just plop down some uh, commercial like right along this strip here although actually I'm gonna before they start building. I hope they don't start building. All right, there we go. We'll extend a road out there. I'm, I'm at zero dollars an hour right now, so... People are still complaining about no power, but the, the plant's got to come online, so... Um, and... People are happy over here. That's good. Let's just... Let's just throw down a random... Park that helps land value. Parks and stuff definitely help with land value, and you want land value to go up so uh, to help expand your city. Don't you want a town hall? I'll do it. I will provide water. Provide once we get power, which that should be coming on soon. A sewage a problem? Not really. I mean, there's just some rather large poops here but you know it's not really a pressing issue at the moment come on power come online yeah it can take a little bit sometimes so be patient but uh so far so good looks like it's taking a little bit to expand this area but what we got to do over here the reason i ex extended this road out and, uh, yeah, no, I'm putting the industry a little close to this, but with the wind and the way it is, it's definitely going to help. 
So there, we'll do that. And we'll zone out a bunch of industrial. There we go, yes! All right, we got power to the city, thank goodness. So there we go, it's gonna start filtering itself to the residents and businesses we have here. There we go. And town hall has been approved! And I think I know exactly where I'm going to put that. Town hall. Right. Well, but we could. Could we? No, we can't quite. We can't fit it in there. Oh, I like this. That's perfect. Yes! Look at this! Town hall! Hard work is alright. We can name our city. Or our town. Not really a city yet. It's only 252 people live here. What are we going to call this place? Oh, the dilemma. The dilemma of me. Let's call it... I don't, I don't know what to call it! Alright, you know what? I think I can, I can name this at a later time. Yeah, okay. We'll name it at a later time. Whatever. We can do it whenever we want, so... And we have some smiley faces here. People are very happy, which is very good. And then I'm going to put some residences down here. And I'll probably eventually expand this road so it comes out a little further. This should definitely be a commercial strip here. Good. Fantastic. Looks like our industry is going up. This is just great. I'm making 258 bucks an hour. This is just making my day right now. Alright, yeah, definitely using these grid lines to uh, kind of make zoning a little bit easier so we can have all our industry and garbage. Because our industry definitely it kills your land value, which you don't want to do. So let's look at There's a land value map, and it shows what impacts it. So Town Hall positively impacts land value and it helps when you're developing residential and commercial buildings you know how much you're, you're able to grow so I'm not being too impacted because we have the industry over here it'll they'll kill their land values themselves but it's a necessary evil petition to build gambling house approved oh I'm so happy about that not should definitely zone a little bit. Well, we have residential over here. So far, so good. I, I mean, yeah. Four sale signs over here. Look at that. Nice little water tower. George's Cheap and Tasty Burgers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, there's two burger places within like inches of each other over here. And don't forget about low-cost services. Look at all the people. All right, so good. Our industry is growing. There's a decent amount of demand for industry. So yeah, this is a, a pretty good start for us. I'm going to cut the part short here, and we will pick it up next time on Let's Play SimCity. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh, if you like what you see and want to see more, certainly press those like buttons, those subscribe buttons. It helps me out a lot. On the left, you can usually see the previous video in the series, but uh, this is the first one, obviously. Um, and on the right, if you'd like to see my Let's Play Hitman Blood Money, um, certainly give that a try as well. Thank you again, everybody.